What's up guys, welcome back. So today we are gonna be doing probably one of my favorite series that I've ever started on my channel and that is where I try some of your favorite products. So if you follow me on Twitter, then there's a very good chance that you probably participated in today's video. I asked you guys there what your favorite makeup products were from every single category. I then took many, many, many notes. I took so many screenshots. So the way that I chose the products that I would try out today, when I was looking through all of your comments, I was specifically looking for makeup items that were mentioned multiple times that I actually haven't tried. And I was also just looking for items that um, just sounded really interesting to me. So I went to Sephora, I went to Mac, and I also went to the drugstore, spent way too much money, but I could say that it was all your fault. And today is also the very last day of Jamis. If you're not familiar, I uploaded a video every single day this week. I will link all the videos that I posted this week down in the description box if you missed any of them. And of course, it's Jamis, so I have a very special giveaway for you guys at the end of the video. So without further ado, it is time to put all these makeup products on my face. Okay guys, so let's just start off with the primer. Now when I was going through all the comments that you guys left me, it was so easy to be able to choose which primer was the most popular because so many of you guys said that the Becca Backlight Priming Filter was one of your favorite primers. And it's so funny because this used to be one of my favorite primers back in the day. I used to use it probably almost every single day. But recently I have sort of completely forgotten about it. I haven't used this stuff in such a long time. So just seeing you guys recommend it to me over and over and over again, sort of ignited my love for this product because it is a really nice product. Now in the replies, I found one particular comment that really stuck out at me and it was from Joldi727 and she says that she actually mixes the Too Faced Hangover Primer, the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, as well as the Huda Beauty Primer together and she says that it creates the most perfect concoction and she also has dry skin and it just works perfectly for her. That sold me immediately. So I already have the Too Faced Primer as well as the Becca one in my collection already, but I went ahead and bought the Huda one. So it looks like the Huda Beauty Primer is supposed to be moisturizing, which is great. So I'm gonna put one pump of that on the back of my hand. Oh, I also see a little bit of shimmer in here, just a touch. I'm now gonna put a little bit of my Too Faced Hangover. Oh, <laughs> and of course, lastly, the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which is a very glowy primer. This is quite the complicated primer concoction, but I like it. And I'm just gonna massage that into my face. Ooh. That feels so nice. That feels more like just like a moisturizer, like it's super thick feeling and it also smells amazing. I have a good feeling about this. We are now prepped and primed, so now it's time to move on to the foundation. So today I'm gonna to be using the Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation. This was recommended by two of my subscribers, Sierra and Scott. And I'm so happy that you guys recommended this to me because I've been actually wanting to try this out for the longest time. So you don't even wanna know how long I spent the Cover FX little station trying to figure out what shade to get. And I couldn't even pick just one. I picked two just in case. According to the back of the box, this is a foundation that is sheer to full coverage and it contains powerful vitamins and antioxidants. And the formula helps hydrate, reduce the look of redness and leaves a beautiful natural finish. That sounds like a dream to me. That is everything I've ever wanted in a foundation. Okay, so I have two shades here. I have G20 and N10 and I'm gonna mix it together. Ooh, baby. <laughs> This is thick. Sierra and Scott, you guys weren't playing. This is like full coverage. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my sponge and bounce it into my skin. That's like a perfect color match, those two together. So what I'm noticing about this foundation is that it's very full coverage, but it's also very like spreadable. So it's not like it's full coverage and then it just looks like a mask on your skin. I feel like I'm able to spread it out so it looks a little bit more natural, but it's still covering up all of my redness and that base is giving it such a pretty glow. I'm really not just saying this, like I would tell you guys if I didn't like the way it looked, this looks fantastic. A plus 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 so far. So next moving on to concealer and I got this recommendation from Marie. Now she actually put me on a little bit of a hunt because she didn't actually tell me the actual name of this product. She just described what it looked like. So when I got to Rimmel, I was like, okay, it's a squeezy tube. It is blue writing and this fit the bill. So this is the match perfection and I have never tried this. I've never even really heard anybody talk about this. She says, that it is a great light coverage and brightening concealer. So I'm just gonna paint this on underneath my eyes. Ooh, I really like that color. And I'm gonna take the same sponge and blend all that out. I would even say this is light coverage. I feel like this is almost like a medium coverage concealer. It looks 
very, very lightweight underneath my eyes too. It almost reminds me a bit of how the um, Bare Mineral Serum Concealer looks underneath my eyes. It looks very hydrating. So I'm also going to very lightly set the rest of my face. So I'm gonna take the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder, and this one is the loose one in Translucent. Now I have tried the pressed version of this powder and I do really like it, but I don't think I've ever tried the loose one. I feel like my mom probably had this like a really long time ago. She used to be so into a cosmetics and would buy everything they sell off of the shopping network. So I feel like I used this a long time ago, like playing in my mom's makeup, but not since then. I'm just gonna tap the powder around my cheek area. This does exactly what the press version does. It almost makes your skin look like velvet. It literally erases your pores. It's insane. It yes. So next, moving on to the bronzer. Mint Money Penny. <laughs> really peer pressured me, dare I say, to buy the <laughs> Tom Ford Terra bronzer. And when I saw it sitting there at Sephora, I mean, I couldn't, I, I couldn't say no. Ooh, it is fancy. It comes in its own little pouch. Ooh. So I'm just going to apply this and let's hope it makes me look like a bronze goddess. It's interesting, there's really not a lot of like kickback or powderiness at all. So I noticed that this is more of like a buildable bronzer. You're not gonna go in with your brush, apply it, and then it's gonna give you like intense color right away, which is nice because you can control exactly how much color you're actually putting on your face. I like this and I like the little pouch. So now I'm gonna stop what I'm doing on the face and I'm gonna move on straight to the eyes. Now there's no doubt that the most popular palette that you guys were suggesting to me was the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Now this is the only product in today's video that I have actually used before, but I felt like there were just too many comments for me to ignore the fact that I had to put this palette in today's video. So I'm first gonna go in with my fluffy brush and I'm gonna mix these two shades right on the top and I'm gonna use these as my transition shades. So I'm just gonna buff this right above my crease. You guys know the drill with this. Next, I'm gonna grab this shade right over here on a smaller blending brush, and I'm going to pop this directly into my crease. With the same brush, I'm gonna take this cool toned deep brown. Now I have been using this palette on and off since its release. The color selection here is beautiful. It can take you from day to night so, so easily, and the eyeshadows blend and apply very nicely. Now for the late shade, I'm gonna take this one right over here. This is the taupe. So I'm just applying that with my finger and just like swiping it on my lid. And to add like a little pop right in the center of my lid, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right over here. This is one of the lighter like highlighting shades in the palette. And I'm gonna put this right in the center of my lid. This is like a very, 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 very intense color. So I'm just putting a teeny tiny bit in the center to give that highlighter effect. This is one of my favorite, favorite tricks that I do. I find it always makes just such like an impact on your eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna take the same cool tone deep brown shade that I use on the outer corner. I'm gonna sweep this on my lower lash line. Really smoke that out. So I'm just taking a black eyeliner. This one is just Feline from MAC. And I'm going to line my inner rim. And I'm also gonna create like a smudgy black line on my upper lash line and sort of just wing it out slightly to elongate my eyes, but I'm not gonna create a wing just to, you know, add a little something extra to this look. So I added that smoky, messy eyeliner just to give this a bit more of like a grungier vibe. So now moving on to the mascara. And I think I'm probably the most excited to try out this mascara. Two of you guys recommended this to me, not four, <laughs> two. <laughs> but I swear I always see the recommendation for this mascara in my comment section. So this is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This is supposed to make your eyelashes look like they have lash extensions on. Ooh, I already really like the wand. It's almost like an hourglass-ish shape. Also very fluffy looking. What the hell is happening to my lashes right now? What? <laughs> mascara drop. This is probably the best my eyelashes have ever looked from a mascara. And yes, better than the last sensational. I feel like my eyelashes literally look fake. Like it looks like I have eyelash extensions on. This is insane. I'm praying that this does not smudge on me because can you imagine you find a mascara that does everything you've ever wanted and then it gives you raccoon eyes? That is like the ultimate sabotage. <sighs> this is great. Thank you guys. <laughs> now before I go too much further, cause I forgot to put this on at the beginning, I'm going to apply the Fresh Sugar Honey 
lip treatment. Now, Sierra recommended this to me. She said that it's the perfect your lips but better shade, and that really got me because that's what I love to wear on an everyday basis. So I can't wait to try this out. I didn't even swatch it or even look at it in the store. I just grabbed it, so I have no idea what this even looks like. Oh, that is not what I expected it to look like. That is such a pretty color. Okay, let's put this on. Oh. Oh, that's really nice. Holy crap, what the heck? Sierra, why have you withheld this information from me for so long? This is like the most beautiful everyday type of lip color. And it's a fresh lip balm, which just makes it even better because they're super hydrating and moisturizing. Can I do these videos like every single week? Because you guys just give me the best product recommendations. I am shaking up right now. And I don't even say that ever. I mean, I could even just leave this on. It looks amazing with the eyes. I thought that was just gonna be like a slightly tinted lip balm. This is actually a beautiful lip color. Moving on though, let's actually do the eyebrows. There was an overwhelming amount of comments for the Benefit brow product and I totally agree the Benefit Brow products are also some of my favorites. So I'm just going to use my personal favorite Benefit Brow product, which is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four to fill in my brows. It's like the perfect, perfect shade for my hair color. So for the cheeks, I got so many recommendations for MAC blushes. You guys were also recommending two shades in particular. I got a few comments about the shade Gingerly, which is this one right over here, and also Mocha. It's actually pretty funny because Gingerly used to be one of my all-time favorite blushes. I I knew I wasn't gonna use two blushes today, but I picked it out and I wanna start using it again because it's such a beautiful like bronzy nude blush. So instead I'm gonna use Mocha, which I actually have never used and it's such a pretty shade. It's very unlike anything I have in my collection. I don't have a lot of these like berry shades and they're so pretty, especially for like the winter time. And I'm just gonna pop this on my cheeks. You know what? I'm actually gonna take a little bit of gingerly, why not? Mixing blushes are fun. And I'm just going to put that more on like my cheekbone area, almost connecting the blush to the bronzer. Almost forgot to do my highlighter. So for my highlighter today, we're gonna to be using two products. A lot of you guys are recommending Joe Fresh makeup to me and I have never tried anything from the line. So I think Katie was the one who recommended the highlighter stick and I got it in the shade Pink Pearl. So I'm going to just draw this right on the tops of my cheekbones and then just blend that out with my sponge. Ooh, very glowy. Now I am gonna layer a little bit of a powder highlighter on top of that. So one of you guys said that you love the um, Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. And I've had this in my collection for a really long time, but I've actually never tried it yet, which is like a crime. <laughs> so we're gonna finally try it today. So I'm gonna take my highlighting brush and I think I'm gonna take the pink shade to sort of match the shade that I already have going on on my cheeks and oh, Oh, okay, <laughs> that is really, really pretty. Ooh, wow, intense. Now it's time for the lips. Now I did get a few lip options. Okay, I'm gonna just like brief over all the products that I actually bought and then we'll decide on one to put on the lips. Another liquid lipstick that a lot of you guys are recommending to me were the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. And this shade in Vixen I thought was really pretty. Deep dark brown color. Maybe we'll put this on today. It would go really nice with the eyes. I also got two MAC lipsticks that you guys recommended to me. And I've actually never even heard of these shades before. So the first one is an Amplified Lipstick in Half and Half. Mm, I love the smell of MAC lipsticks. This is a beautiful, beautiful nude. I also picked up D for Danger and this one is a matte. Reminds me a lot of Rebel, but a little bit more like red. And then the last thing that I picked up from MAC is a lip liner that I'm surprised I don't even have in my collection. This is Spice Lip Liner and this would go so well with Half and Half and even the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick. Let's do the berry shade. I feel like I don't wear berries enough at all. So there we have D for Danger on the lips. Not quite a red, but it's not quite a berry. So it creates this like really cool shade. It's so different. I think it's safe to say that you guys have the most bomb recommendations. I am so excited to continue to use so many of these products like in my everyday makeup routine. Now that we are done, it is time to talk about the giveaway. So today's giveaway is going to be for all of my makeup artists or makeup artists in training out there. Now, if you did not know, I used to work as a makeup artist a few years ago. So I know firsthand how difficult it is building your makeup artist kit and how expensive it can be, especially 
especially when it comes to foundations. I'm going to be giving away a full box full of like two different ranges of foundations to two different winners. So all I ask is that if you do decide to enter this giveaway that you are either a makeup artist in training or a working makeup artist because obviously no like normal person needs a full range of foundations. So I will put all the details on how to actually enter the giveaway in the description box down below. So that my friends finishes off a full week of Jamis. Thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos this week. It was really a lot of fun to be able to do this. And I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be taking it next week off. I'm giving myself a little bit of a holiday break. So I will see you guys after the holidays. And I want to wish you all a very happy, healthy, and beautiful holiday season. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon. Bye.